Optics, of course, to me is a, a beautiful thing. I can, I can see our art and uh, so many optical phenomena. Uh, phenomena that you see every day, like uh, after images, uh, closing your eyes, I can see beautiful patterns. Or I can look at uh, in the sky and see the polarized hiding or brushes, and things like that. So it, it just, I, I see beauty in the world as a result of uh, optical training. I can look at my own career uh, at Rochester where I'd spent nearly all my time uh, on science and engineering courses. And looking back, I got an enormous value out of the, out of the uh, humanities courses I took. At the very least, I think the understanding of, of the world that you gain through humanities enables you to put your science into a, a, a context. I've spent the second half of my life essentially in, in non-scientific work, but I just don't separate the two in my mind. But I had always been interested in abstract forms. When I was young, I would collect stones and rocks and arrowheads. I've been interested in the art as objects rather than the, the way the objects were used. My interest in optics and appreciation for color that I developed through, uh, through my scientific interest it was the thing that really got me moving along on lithography. When I came to uh, Southern California and I went to flea markets, I saw that, that there were labels that were on the end of orange, orange boxes. Up till 1955, oranges were shipped in wooden boxes with these labels on the end. They were gathered up by dealers and they started selling it. I got really interested in this and, and built a big collection of these. I set out to, to, to learn about what was the status of color lithography and how did it work from a, from a scientific point of view. And there really wasn't a, a good book that had been written on this. So I, I set out to write it and it took me a decade, it turned out, to do it. But I wrote the book that's now uh, the standard book on American color lithography. So my advice to somebody going to learn a scientific trade would be don't underestimate how these humanities courses can help change your life in the future and make your life a lot richer.